want you to go up and pull the visor down. A team led by former federal prosecutor and Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Bromwich conducted a two-year investigation. The result? This report. Anatomy of the Gun Trace Task Force Scandal, the Origins, Causes, and Consequences. The findings? Shocking, surprising, and disappointing. These guys had engaged in so much misconduct previously, some of which was known to the police department, and the department at that time was incapable of taking care of its own business. Bromwich says dozens of complaints were found against several members of the GTTF, but no disciplinary action was taken. The report also lists other officers who may have been involved in misconduct but are no longer with the department, and corruption just seemed to be accepted. I think there were deficiencies in the culture in the police department that allowed supervisors and other senior people to turn a blind eye to misconduct and corruption for a very long time. The more than 500 page report looks at the actions of GTTF members, the high number of arrests made and getting guns off the streets to evidence leading to their convictions, which included planting guns, narcotics and robbing drug dealers. In a written statement, Police Commissioner Michael Harrison responded, while the report provides an unflinching look at BPD's own historical shortcomings, it is necessary for the information to be brought to light so that we do not repeat the mistakes of the past. We're thankful uh, that we have the results now. During a news conference, Mayor Brandon Scott made a short statement. In a news release, he said, transparency, integrity, and accountability are fundamental to the progress of building a safer, more equitable Baltimore. As your mayor, I will continue to work tirelessly to improve public trust in City Hall and the Baltimore Police Department. We asked Bromwich about public trust. It's not easy to have confidence and trust, uh, but I think there are, are, are aspects of the reforms being implemented that should begin to rebuild that trust. The review team makes 25 recommendations and believes consent decree mandated reforms and police body-worn cameras will help detect and deter misconduct. Reporting live from downtown Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV 11 News.